rode in the truck with my uncle when I was 10 or 11 and liked it and didn't have enough sense to do anything else. That's all I ever wanted to do was drive. Freedom. Just freedom of the road. Get to do what you want. As long as you're where you're supposed to be, when you're supposed to be, you can do anything you want. I was referred indirectly by a fleet line driver in the late 80s. Late 80s, middle 90s, somewhere in there, we worked for the same company and he talked about fleet line out of Lancaster, which is darts, and said he wished he had never left, but he didn't want to go back. So when I decided to quit doing containerized freight, I give him a try, I like it. I come here April 1st, April Fool's Day of 2001. They don't lie to you. They have good people, good freight, and good equipment, and that's about all you can ask for. You know, you can find any company with good freight, good people, and good equipment, but you can't find companies that don't lie to you. They'll tell you anything to get you in the seat. Dark don't lie to you. They don't always tell you what you want to hear, but they don't lie to you. Now, I like that. It's worth staying for. I don't like the big cities because of the traffic, but I like anywhere, you know. We used to run a lot in Maine and upper New York, like Plattsburgh, New York, and you can throw a rock across the border. GP has a mill there. Uh, but I'm content with what we have now. It's not the same thing every day, but it's familiar enough that I don't have to look for things that I want, like where's the next truck stop? Where's the next rest area? Because I've been around it enough to know on this road that this is there. You ain't gonna believe me, but I tell you anyway, I've been over the road since 1984. And I started driving a truck in 1968 when I was 16, local, spotting trailers around Savannah, Georgia. So that's over 50 years. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you how old I am directly, ain't I? I had intended to retire at 70, which is later on this year, but I'm gonna stick around a little more. As long as I feel good, I might as well work. I like to hunt and fish. I like to go to NASCAR races and spend time with my grandkids. From the road, yeah, I've seen people fall out of their truck backing up. The older style conventional trucks with the mufflers right behind the door, it's very hard to see around the muffler to back up. So I have seen drivers open the door and lean out to look around the muffler and I saw a driver fall out of the truck because he leaned out too far in the truck kept going and backed into the dock and tore the dock plate up. So that one sticks in my mind more than any of the rest of them. <clears throat> I've seen people trying to slide their tandems and bust the rear end out of their truck or slide their tandems and slide it all the way out the back of the trailer. <laughs> and you know, you see a lot of stuff. I see people do ignorant stuff and I'm thinking, you know, you kind of look at them out of one side of your eye because you can't look at them directly. Like, are you serious? You actually did that? But that's just life in general. I would say to the drivers that complain about driving a truck that if they don't want to drive a truck, then they shouldn't, you know? Because you hear them all the time, this has changed, that's changed. Ain't nothing changed. People are the same as they always were. 
You hear them complain about the CB radios, nobody talks on the radio anymore. Well, I was in a truck before there was a radio in the truck. I was a kid, but we got along before without them. <clears throat> we can get along again without them. But most of the people that complain on the road are just looking to complain about something. If you don't like it, don't do it. I like it, that's why I've been at it a while. I think my only goal in life is to live and be useful. And that goes for trucking too. If I can't be useful to anybody, then I ain't got no business driving a truck. As long as I can do my job, yeah, I'm going to do it. But as far as goals, I'm old. I've lived my life. That's it.